in the eighth. Holy cow, man. Paramount Pictures, February 1998, 10th week at the box office. It's got to be, I don't know if Titanic was made by um, pa Paramount, but it's got to be, right? It's, it's Titanic. It's not even close. I remember Titanic made like a billion dollars at the box office, maybe like 700 million. It was seen as an untouchable cinematic record. It was like there may never be a, a, a movie that breaks this record at the box office. Since then, like five movies have broken the record at the box office. That's crazy. One of them is James Cameron's own movie. Inflation adjusted, though. Yeah, but inflation from 98 to 20, 2009 when Avatar came out was like 2% a year. People will always be like, oh, there's, yeah, oh, but inflation adjusted. Yeah, adjusted for inflation, Avatar is gross, still kicks Titanic's gross as ass. Loses to Gone with the Wind because like everybody in 1935 would go see Gone with the Wind like three times a month for five years. Plus, like inflation was really bad last year. That being said, so were box office grosses because Marvel fell off hard. Anyway, let's see. New Line Cinema, 1998. Second weekend, reasonable fall. Actor one is Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler, 1998, February. We'll call that the water boy. 1998, Adam Sandler, New Line Cinema. We'll call that Big Daddy. Tagline. He's going to party like... It's the wedding singer. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Call me the water boy, the way she bobby on my boucher till the mud dogs win the bourbon bowl. Wedding singer, very, I, I would say good Adam Sandler movie. Explain that. Bobby Boucher is the lead character in the water boy, the, the so-called titular water boy. Also, The Wedding Singer, one of, one of the most quoted Adam Sandler movies on this stream. That's some information that would have been useful yesterday. He's losing his mind, and I'm reaping all the benefits. Anyway, Warner Brothers, second week, 25 milli, tagline. A thousand feet beneath the sea, the blackest holes are in the mind. What does this sound like a, a Dan Riddle from Team Unity? This is Sphere. Oh! Ooh! Why do I know Sphere? I know Sphere for a couple of reasons. One is, it's the abyss but worse, so it's always in my head somewhere. I know it's about being underwater, and it's like a psychological thriller. Then also, I remember my parents renting it, and I was like 10, right? So I watched the first... 10 to 15 minutes of it, and then I said, this is too scary for me, and I went to bed, and then my parents finished it. That happened a couple times as a kid. Sphere is one of the ones I remember for sure. Miramax, 87 milli, week 12. Holy cow, it's been in theaters for three months and is still chugging. Tagline, some people can never believe in themselves until someone believes in them. Actor one, Matt Damon. 1998, this could be the talented Mr. Ripley. Let me get a genre. It's the legend of Bagger Vance. That wasn't in theaters for three months, you idiot. <laughs> what are you talking about? 1998. Actor two, oh, it's Goodwill Hunting. For some, I, I, I just thought Goodwill Hunting came out earlier than this. That, that should have been a gimme. That's free points given away. Great movie. And a Miramax movie that opened to five million. Tagline, a secret experiment gave him super senses. Then came the side effects. Actor, Marlon Wayans. This blank man? <laughs> it's not blank, man. 
Oh no, I'm not gonna know this, man. How is this not blank, man? The movie that Justin always references where he, he blanks in his blank? I guess you could say pants. Actor 2, David Spade. This had to be one of the worst movies ever made. Actor 3, Matthew Lillard. I have no, I've never heard of this movie before in my life. Reveal all hints. It's directed by Penelope Spheris, a comedy romance. A student gets his senses enhanced by an experimental drug, but abuse is not an option. I give up. Senseless. Holy cow. We're still 53rd percentile. Brother, just look at the, the poster. Like, it's got the, the meme font. The, the E is backwards. The letters change size. Just had no chance. Somebody look this up on Rotten Tomatoes. This is a, a pretty rare result. I'm going to say that this has under a 10% on Rotten Tomatoes. It has a 6. Okay, that's You just get the vibe. Like There's just no redeeming quality, at least on a critical level for this. That being said, if it's on Netflix, I'll watch it tonight. Still, we did okay. 51 percent 50 52nd percentile that's not so bad okay you ready sine to nurdle for many people sine to nurdle is the best of all of the um of all of the dulls i like it too pregnant shallow greek god jack black Emily Blunt. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Shallow Hal, Jack Black. New Year's Eve party, sunken Greek god. I don't know what that is. But I do know chimpanzee Steven Yoon, horse ranch. That's nope. Place. Oh, and the connection is going to be Daniel Kaluuya. And we, I see we got quiet place. Or maybe the connection will be pregnant. We'll figure it out. This, or maybe the connection is place. Quiet place. Sunken place. So... Let me think about this for a second. New Year's Eve party, sunken ship, Greek god. I don't even know. It's ghost ship? What is, Poseidon, 2000. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Emily Blunt is in a quiet place. And she's pregnant in the movie. So we're going we're gonna to hot swap this for just a second. That's going to make nope. That's going to make a quiet place. This is going to make shallow hal. And I feel like place is the connection. I think, sunken place, Daniel Kaluuya, hypnosis. Boom. That was a relatively easy one today, but we, we got it all. Get out, a quiet place. Nope. Poseidon, 2006, shallow hell. He even did the shapes today. Now the reversal, 3.5 out of 5 today. King's Speech, Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, Wild Wild West, The Pianist, Midsummer. Let's think about this for a second. You know, it's just like, let's take a second to hydrate. The Eternals, Oppenheimer, The Wicker Man, Movies with Cults, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Wicker Man, Midsummer. Jurassic Park, The Pianist, King's Speech. So what do I know about The King's Speech? King's Speech, to Domo, Domo. King's Speech, Colin Firth, Helena Bonham Carter, Best Picture winner, Best Actor winner, Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody. Benedict Cumberbatch. Kira Knightley, Kira Knightley, Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, Ryan Reynolds, Samuel L. Jackson. What are career killing movies? Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, Star Wars The Last Jedi, third movie in a franchise. Movies directed by J.J. Abrams, movies that have a 3% audience score on IMDb. 
marriage story. We got Adam Dr Adam Driver, Adam Driver, Adam Driver. Who's in Marriage Story? Who's in The Last Jedi? Will Smith, Kevin Klein, Kenneth Branagh, Kenneth Branagh. Salma Hayek. What else is Sal Salma Hayek's also in The Eternals. How about that? She may be in one of these other movies as well. She's in Puss in Boots. Would you look at that? Okay, there's Salma Hayek. Jurassic Park. Sam Neill. Sam Neill. Was Sam Neill in Little Women? Sam Neill. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Probably not Samuel L. Samuel L. Jackson, though. It's a tougher one today. I'm thinking, okay? I'm thinking. Now, is there something in my head, okay? Just let me cook with this one for a second. Directed by Noah Bombach. Noah Bombach married to Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig, Little Women, Little Women. Barbie opened alongside Oppenheimer. What is movies that are one degree away from Greta Gerwig or zero degrees away from Greta Gerwig? Or Olivia Munn. Olivia Munn, people. <laughs> Olivia Munn, Midsummer, Florence Pugh, which also, she's also in Oppenheimer. I'm going to guess that she's in Little Women as well, but she's not in Wild Wild West. And this is not the connector, so we got it, which means this is the connector, movies with cults is the connector. It's, it's a process of elimination. Wait a minute, I can't rotate the shape in my head. So give me this, 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 and then this is cults. Are, does the Eternals have cults in it? No, oh no. <laughs> Florence Pugh, also in Women Talking, also in Marriage Story. Oh, fuck. There's no way she's in the King's Speech. She's like my age. Midsummer Wicker Man, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Which of these movies has a cult, man? Star Wars? Samuel L. Jackson Films. Best Actor Winners. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Imitation Game. King's Speech. And the Wicker Man. I'm cooked. I don't feel like I have anywhere to go. <laughs> I find it hard to believe that one of these is not going to be Samuel L. Jackson, though. What the hell else is Florence Pugh in, man? Puss in Boots, The Last Wish? What the hell else has a cult in it? Movies with cults. Movies with cults. Oh, fuck. It's not one of these. <laughs> oh, what the, what have I done? I moved one and now I don't know where I am. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Wicker Man, Women Talking. Now I'm, I'm even more confused. Movies that take place in the 1970s? Midsummer. This is Florence Pugh, but she's definitely not in Jurassic Park or The Pianist, I'd have to assume. She's not in Imitation. I don't think she's in Star Wars. She must be in The King's Speech. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I'm so confused, man. This, this, this is not Adam Driver. Star Wars The Last Jedi, Jurassic Park, Marriage Story. He's not Adam Driver. He would have been like four when this movie came out. Movies with Wayne Knight. Movies with Scarlett Johansson. Movies that you can watch on Netflix right now. Um, hot Swap Me. Hot Swap Me. Hot, hot Swap Me. I'm cooked. I have no idea, man. 
view solution. Midsummer little woman puss in boots. This must be Florence Pugh. Midsummer women talking once upon a time in Hollywood, the wicker man. Women talking is about cults. I, I honestly thought it was the name of Jada Pinkett Smith's show on Facebook. Little Women Marriage Story Jurassic Park Star Wars The Last Jedi. I have no idea what the hell Teal is. Laura Dern. <laughs> oh, that's that's d delightfully devilish. Laura Dern. Puss in... This is Salma Hayek. Movies about a guy. <laughs> Movies that take place during the Second World War. Yeah, okay. Wow, that was a tough one today. That was a tricky one. Laura Dern, everybody. Laura Dern would not, she could not be here tonight. She doesn't agree with my politics. But Olivia Munn, Olivia Munn, Roseanne Barr, and Chibli are all here today. Well, this is tough. Um, today's movie to movie. Children of the Corn to Suburban Commando. Now, Suburban Commando, all I know is that Hulk Hogan is in it. But Children of the Corn, I don't know anybody. So that's rough. I'm trying to, I'm looking closely. I'm telling you, I don't know who this guy is. And I don't know who you are. So we're going to have to try to get the Hulk Hogan, which I don't think is going to be easy. Um, start me up. Okay, we have... An actress who's been in things. And nobody else. Okay, so we can go. Linda Hamilton. Oh, here's, here's the way it goes, okay? It's got to be like this. Linda Hamilton, Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, the Expendables. A professional wrestler. And then surely we can get from one professional wrestler actor to something that Hulk Hogan is also in. Unless Hulk Hogan has been in The Expendables. So here, I, here's what I'm thinking. Linda Hamilton. Uh, give me Terminator 2. Give me Arnold Schwarzenegger. Give me The Expendables. And give me 3. Because that's where... I mean, look at This is like 8 dudes. This is like 12 dudes. This is like 25 dudes. Then you search Hulk Hogan. If you don't see, Hulk, if you don't see Terry... Bolia, then we scroll down a little bit, okay? Find the professional wrestler. Well, close, close. There's no, brother, Stone Cold Steve Austin is in this movie. Stone Cold. If not, we go Randy Couture. <laughs> That's not how you spell his name or pronounce his name, is it? It's, it's it got to be Randy Couture, right? It's not Couture. Like Haute Couture. Oh, man. Okay, and then take me way back. Three geezers. I didn't see that one, to be honest with you. Uh, I, wait, I see Dave Batista. Or is that maybe that's just Randy Couture? Of course he was in... Oh, wait, here we go. The Scorpion King 2, Rise of a Warrior. Big Stan, starring Rob Schneider. That looks like a tasteful film. Today You Die, Steven Seagal and <laughs> Randy Couture. Cradle to the Grave. Is that the one that's with DMX? Okay, we're like way down there now. Give me... Um, Big Stan, dude. Give me, um, give me the Scorpion King 2. I've made a grievous error. I assume there would be somebody in this who was also in, <laughs> in the, the Scorpion King 1. I don't know who any of these people are. Give me Randy Couture. And do me a favor. Take me back to... Uh, take me back to... Take, take me back to... Big Stan. I just want to know who's in this one. Holy cow. Um, Big Stan. Now remember, we're trying to get to 
Hulk Hogan. That's a real problem because I can't really name a movie that Hulk Hogan was in. Hulk Hogan is in Suburban Commando. Olivia Munn, everybody! Olivia Munn! <laughs> Bob Sapp, musical guest, Richard Kind. Hulk Hogan's filmography. Suburban Commando. Is he in a movie called Mr. Mom? The only thing is, I'm the, he's the only dude I know who's in these movies. Thunder in Paradise or something? I used to watch it as a kid, Thunder in Paradise. Thunder in Paradise. Does, any, does anyone know what it's called? Not, not the Thunder Down Under. It's a, yeah, the movie with the speedboat. Thank you. It was also an FMV game. It's called Thunder in Paradise. And you are Walking Dead Season 2. Honestly, I just, I, I think I'm, I think I'm rinsed. Here's what I think we can do. Flip it and try to get to Linda Hamilton. We, I, here's the thing. People are going to say we should have started here. But the truth of the matter is, if we started here, my ass had no idea that Linda Hamilton was in Children of the Corn. I would have, I would have found myself in exactly the same sort of position, unless I got hit by like a lightning bolt. So I genuinely think the easiest... I bet Hulk Hogan has been in a movie with someone who's been in The Expendables. Like maybe The Rock's most electrifying matches... Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Expend. Really? Summer Game Fest 2022. Okay, here it's Meeting Stone Cold. Steve Austin. Expendables. Arnold. Terminator 2. Linda Hamilton. Children of the Corn. If I had to watch all of these movies um, in order to get this done, I would rather die, personally. <laughs> but if you wanted to get there in two, you could go Children of the Corn, Peter Horton, Children of the Dark, Roy Dotris, who just happened to be in Suburban Commando. He played neighbor number four. <clears throat> Rocky Three, Jesus? Or what do you want me to do? I looked over in chat to see what the movie th uh, was called, Thunder in Paradise. People are like, why is he not acknowledging Rocky III? Because it would be the worst fucking stream of all time. If I just said, hmm, I don't know how to connect these, and then someone in chat said Rocky III, and I said, oh, right, Rocky III, and I just did it, this shit would not be entertaining for me or for you. No question, are you stupid? I mean, honest question, are you stupid? There might be a question. <laughs> I shouldn't say no question. Just sit back and enjoy the entertainment. I might be. All right, that's fine. You do know actual terrorists have streamed on this site? Okay. They probably shopped at Walmart, too. That doesn't mean I got uh, principles when it comes to getting a bag of gala apples for 99 cents a pound. What is steel? That's what I'm saying. Did you know ISIS breathed oxygen once as well? Hmm. Curious. Honey crisp or better? Brother, my ass is, is buying apples at Walmart. They're all going to taste like sand. Okay? This is... Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Metacritic score 59. I don't know what's going on with this box down here. This is, it must be an RPG then, like an MMORPG. It's Black Desert Online, Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. 
kingdoms of Amalur, it's lost kingdoms. Well, it's definitely, oh, it's a third person shooter with action RPG elements. Are you Anthem? You are Anthem. Okay, we do guess Anthem a lot. I didn't know Anthem was like futuristic medieval. You know what I mean with the aesthetic? It was indeed. It's dog shit. I mean, for a game to average 59 is like really bad. For a movie to average 59, you're like, this might be worth watching. For a game to average 59 is like... I mean, it's not unheard of, but it's, it's pretty rare. Hi, Tomo. Hi, buddy. Now, let me tell you. This is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. One. That's a gimme. I know all these people. HK47. I can't tell you who that is. It's a spoiler. This is Bastila, obviously. Yeah, I played Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I was 14 once. Best planet on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. <sighs> Me, personally, I, I'm a Dantooine guy. When you go to the Jedi Academy and you make your own lightsaber. Then also, uh, Korriban and the Sith Academy. First time I ever encountered um, the, the Tower of Hanoi, the Bioware classic. Felt like I was a genius when I solved it. He knows. I know, I know all about the Star Forge, brother. I... Do not cite the old words to me, which I was there when they were written. I don't know what this is, though. This four average guess attempts, skip me, it's Genshin Impact. Oh no, this is Kingdom Hearts. That might be Kingdom Hearts 2. Really? Is this, this is Kingdom Hearts, brother. It's the correct saga? It's Kingdom Hearts... <laughs> Chain of Memories? This is fucking Kingdom... It's not Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Like, this, that came out less than five years ago. It wouldn't look like this. Kingdom Hearts 3? No? <laughs> Kingdom... Hearts. Whoever is in the suit of armor is getting their ass beat. I'll tell you that much. Three, it's, there you go. It's 358 by two days. Easily the worst uh, title in video game history in all likelihood. You should play it. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> I think you knew that, though. Dream Drop Distance is also pretty bad, though. I know it came out on the 3DS. If anything, the fact that it's an intentional pun actually makes it worse. Kingdom Hearts 358 by two days. Well, we didn't get a whole lot on that one. It's earlier than 2009, and it's either single-player or co-op. <laughs> it is not an action game or a role-playing game for the Nintendo DS. It's probably Half-Life 1. It came out earlier than 1998. Wow, okay. So we're getting way back there. How about a Super Mario World? It is played from the side view. And it is later than 19, well, earlier than 1990. It probably has action adventure elements. How about the legend of, of Side View, though? Side View, Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4. What a game. Oh, <laughs> single player, Side View. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not an action game. That means it is a fantasy. That also has an element of, I should have known now that I think about it, that also has an element of science fiction, horror, thriller, or warfare. 
Hmm, interesting. It came out more recently than 1991. It's not made by Konami. This is Contra 3. Oh, that's probably an action game, if I had to put it in a genre. Um, and it's not on the Super Nintendo. So it could be on the Sega Genesis with fantasy elements. It's Golden Axe. It is, the Golden Axe came out in 1989, idiot. And it's apparently it also takes place in the third person. Holy cow. I think we should try to get the year right at least. Like how about a game that came out in 1990? What, what about Gex 1? <laughs> what about Jersey Devil? I don't know. Give me a clue. Game Engine Scum. Worms Armageddon. It's not Worms Armageddon. It's not even the right saga. It's Blast Corpse. It's um, Super Ghouls. It's Ghosts and Goblins. It's Ghouls and it's Super Ghosts and <laughs> Super Ghouls and Goblins. It's Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's Alice Madness Returns. It's um, Greedfall. Day of the Damn Tentacle? I never, in a hundred years, would not have gotten this. Only point-and-click adventure game I played as a child. Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. Goaded theme song. Uh, 900 floppy disks to play. And I remember, even as a child, I remember having to look up online how to like open an outhouse door. And it was like, take the chewing gum in your inventory and apply it to the hairpin. Dangle the hairpin over the sewer grate outside of the saloon and you'll pick up the outhouse door key. You apply the outhouse door key to the outhouse and then you'll open the door and somebody in their underpants will go, close that, and that'll open up the next step. And I said, fuck you, Freddy Fargus, Frontier Pharmacist. I'm never playing another point-and-click adventure game as long as I live. It's that simple. You had the internet as a kid? Yeah! I'm 34! A four-word comedy from 1977. That's loved. It's loved, it's liked by critics and loved by the audience. I know this is way too um, recent, but it is four words and it is loved. Has a pronounced southern charm and smash him fervor that aids in the digestion of an otherwise silly ent enterprise that's way too permissive with its on-screen talent. Oh, southern charm? Next me. The movie is for audiences capable of slavering over a Pontiac Trans Am and 18-wheel tractor trailer rigs. This is Smokey and the Bandit. He's crazy. <laughs> Movies with trucks. I didn't know, I don't know anything about Smokey and the Bandit except it's about trucks. Big Enos wants to drink Coors at a truck show, but in 1977, it was illegal to sell dot, dot, dot. All right. I mean, it's, it's loved by everybody. It's redneck anime? I thought that was professional wrestling. You can't sell Coors east of Texas? That's considered bootlegging. I don't even know what that means, honestly. This is California. That, I don't know. That doesn't matter now that I think about it. They made ships like this back in the day. Like this is 
I have to assume that this is San Francisco just from the hills. But I, again, it's, it's chrono guesser. I mean, t chrono photo, not time guesser. So we don't need a position. These buses are from like the 1970s. Maybe it's 1980s. I'm going to give this a 1975. Oh! This is a boy looking through a binder of sports cards. And this is Shelley Duvall. This is a flea market. I used to go to card shops, flea markets, buy hockey cards and stuff like that. But this is not what things look like in my time. Although this dude actually looks like me as a child for sure. <laughs> like this dude right here is straight out of like pre my birth year for sure. But then this outfit right here is Stranger Things coded. Like this is, this is the 1980s or maybe the late 1970s. I'm going to go 81 on this. Holy cow, he's insane. Now, I simply don't know these players on the uh, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. I got to say, this is approximately like a 2001. It's 2002. Me personally, I'm going to go ahead and say this is 19. Well, I don't know where this is. It's not 1996. I don't know why I went there. But I think this, is, this would be post D-Day, which would put us like 44, 45. The reconquest of Western Europe was like 44 into the early part of 45. So let's say 44. 43. Oh. <laughs> okay, we've seen this one 20 times. This is... <laughs> Is this not... Oh, no, no, we, we've seen this one before, but it's not a uh, time guesser, so we don't need the location. This is like 1999 or something, right? 2001, all right. We got 4621 today, that's pretty good. I don't know how many times I've, just, I've seen that picture, man. It's so funny. Very good today, very good. Housel. Can I say something? I'm killing Housel. Listed is fun because the houses are normal. Housel, right click, delete, get owned. We go chrono photo straight into Time Guesser now. Time Guesser has not updated today. So we go straight to listed. Home a home. It's a $295,000 house. In Virginia. Dude, this is basically like getting a platinum trophy. To be within 5% is a, is a dream come true. Three, so what's, or is that 10%? I can't remember. 5% is like $15,000. Put me at 310. Oh, put me at 3025. Oh, now that's a, that's a huge guess there. That wasn't fun either. I got it in three. I had a good time. Today, I'd like to go from Armenia to Denmark. All right, all right. Denmark, you must go to Germany. There's no other option. What? Excuse me? You could also go to Russia? Or you can go Sweden to Russia. Okay, well, we're doing a different way. We go again. We're going Germany. Two, let me, let me fucking think about this first. We're probably going through Russia because we're going to go Germany, fucking Poland, because it's big. Poland borders Russia on that weird little, like, exclave, right? Yes, it does. Okay, that's, I mean, now, 
it's very simple. <laughs> you go turkey, no, 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 hang on. Cause this is like, okay, so can you rotate me? Cause I can't fucking picture this shit, man. Like this is the Black Sea. So you got like a, like a, a Georgia somewhere in here. And we're, we're connected. We're not connected? How are we not connected? How, what's the problem? We've made it from Armenia to Georgia to Russia. Russia connects to Poland. Like, they're, they're, they're adjacent. They're adjacent to each other. Exclaves don't count. It's fucking filled in, man. It's a scam. Me, when I play a game and I get something sensible wrong, people are like, oh no, there's an edge case that means that, that, that you're wrong. You need to factor in the edge case. Me, when I get an edge case, that means I'm right. Oh no, that one doesn't count, that's an edge case. Make up your mind, Malcolm Gladwell. How are you gonna walk from Moscow to Denmark? Brother, sometimes they start you in Iceland. How the fuck are you gonna walk from Reykjavik to, you know, Gabon? You're gonna do the same thing that you would do here. You'd hop on a fucking airplane. You just go. Anyway, it's... Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Belarus. Belarus. I think maybe any of them would work. But we'll take Belarus. Honestly, I think they should have given us one early today. That's just my two cents. If the, if the game worked on consistent rules, that's just my two cents. Hey, Krusty Jugglers, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Why should it work that way? Because it's the border. It's the border. You can get from, you can walk from Russia to Poland. If anything, you can't walk from Russia to fucking Russia. That's not my fault. You could take the walk to Poland too. It's like being like, oh, you can't use Indonesia because you started on fucking Sumatra, but now you're trying to connect through Java. What are you supposed to do? Get water shoes? I don't know. I didn't make the borders of the country. I'm just representing them. Okay. Hey, Naruto AMV from 2007. Thank you as well. Thank you. New Jersey, Ottawa. This one's for you, Jay. Anton Volchenkov. Ooh! <laughs> oh! New Jersey, Team USA. Jamie Langenbrunner. Los Angeles, Team USA. Thinking like maybe a, a, maybe a Justin Williams. Maybe Oh, no, no, no. Jonathan Quick. That's your gimme on that one. Okay. He looks happy to be here. Ducks, Team USA. Am I crazy to think that maybe a John Gibson might have been involved? Getzlaff and Perry, Canadian. Salani, Finnish. Korea, Canadian. Jean-Sebastien Jaguer, Canadian. Team USA. I'm going to go John Gibson. He's insane. The man's officially insane. Dallas and Ottawa. No, that's not Dallas. That's Anaheim, you piece of crap. I got to think about that one. Havlat, not Havlat. Havlat, Havlat, Dallas, New Jersey. I'm Dallas, New Jersey. I'm pissed because that's fucking Jamie Langenbrunner, <laughs> isn't it? I made a huge mistake. I used Jamie Langenbrunner too early. New Jersey and Dallas. Sergey Breelin. Darian Hatcher, Scott Stevens, Kevin Hatcher, Bobby Holik, Brian Rafalski, Justin Williams, Patrick Laleem, Jonathan Quick, 
Daniel Alfredson, Jason Spezza, Martin Havlat, Alexi Yashin, Timu Solani, Paul Correa, Ryan Getzlaff, Jason Spezza, Tyler Seguin, Zach Parise? No, Parise went straight to Minnesota. I don't know. I give up. <laughs> Open summary. Let's end game. I'm okay with that. I've spent enough time here. Bobby Ryan, Corey Perry, Curtis Lazar, Marion Gab, Rick Ben Bishop. You're, I mean, you should always just assume Yager, man. There were some Vancouver connections today. Curtis Lazar, wearing a Canucks jersey, played for us for literally like three games and then got traded. And uh, Ryan Kessler. We don't talk about Ryan Kessler. Okay, slash marker. 